What up players, today we're taking a look at the Gundam Converge EX-22 Psycho Gundam Mark II. So previously we have reviewed the Psycho Gundam Mark I, I guess it's just a regular, regular Psycho Gundam. Uh, so this one should be pretty similar to that. The box is a little bit larger, I think, so this one will maybe be a little bit bigger. We'll take a look at them side by side here once we get it out of the box. So here it is, just some really cool box right here. You can see the Kublai Mark II there in the background. That was actually a P-Bandai option parts set that came with some different you know, like effect parts and things like for the Psycho Gundam Mark II and then also came with a Kublai Mark II in there as well so you could get that that was like an extra 20 or 25 dollars I think for that yeah I didn't really need it that bad I think this one will be enough so there on the top of the box really cool image there of just the Psycho Gundam Mark II's face I really like the Psycho Gundam Mark II much more than the original it definitely has a little bit more of like organic feel to it with that kind of like almost insect sort of looking face but it definitely looks much more mean and I think the colors are just more interesting too like the purple and everything is kind of a little more interesting than just black uh, it does also transform or parts form anyway just like the regular Psycho Gundam uh, nothing really too interesting there just on the back there just showing the transformation it does come with a little stand there for it when it's in mobile armor mode let's get it opened up and see all right so we got a whole bunch of stuff in here of course I have our Bandai chewing gum we have the instructions so letting you know just how to put it together and then how to transform it into the mobile armor mode. I think what I'm going to do just to save myself the trouble of transforming it into mobile armor mode and transforming it back, I'm going to just build it up in armor, mobile armor mode first and show it to you guys like that first because I then probably am never going to do that again. Uh, and then put it back into just the regular mobile suit mode because that's how I'm going to keep it on my shelf there ultimately. So uh, yeah, we've just got a whole bunch of parts here in a series of bags. So let me get this put built up in the mobile armor mode and we'll take a look. Oh, okay, well that was a little bit of a chore. I think maybe it would have been easier to build it up in the mobile suit mode first and then transform it, just so I would have had a better idea of the pieces. But like putting it together, the instructions are kind of not very clear. I kind of wish that they would have printed the instructions like in color or just not in like some photocopy where the contrast is turned up way too high and like every shape is just like this big dark shape. You can't really tell exactly which piece it is because there's a lot of different pieces. This thing breaks up into a, a bunch of different pieces to transform it, and you have a lot of pieces left over uh, that are not used when you're when you've got it transformed here. And I would assume that uh, in the mobile suit mode as well, we'll probably have a couple leftover pieces. Uh, that's usually the case for these kits, so that's not particularly out of the ordinary. That's just kind of the way it goes. But uh, it does look pretty cool. I mean, if this was, if you like the mobile armor mode, then there it is. It's just kind of got this pinhead thing going on there. You know, the colors look pretty cool. They're all nice and bright, and the little bits of gold in there for the little like verniers, thruster bells, uh, all shine really nicely as well. So it looks pretty good, but I'm anxious to see how this is going to look in mobile suit mode. So let's take a look. Okay, and so here it is in mobile suit mode, and you may notice that it's missing an arm because I got a defective mold or something that's totally missing the peg to plug in the arm. How did how did that get past quality control? And this is not molded in purple, this is painted purple, so that means the molded plastic, you can see like where when it was just going through the factory, someone just clipped off the peg for plugging on the arm, and then it's just painted over like that and packed in like this. Now, I haven't seen any news about this as to this product being re recalled or anything so I don't think it's been like a widespread issue I haven't seen or heard anyone else having this issue with this so I would assume most of them are okay but how the hell did I get so unlucky that I got it missing an arm so I gotta get in touch with Hobby Link Japan about getting a replacement or something because that's just not cool I could fix it but or I could just get a new one so that sucks, but just for a size comparison here, I just want to show you together with the Psycho Gundam, uh, with the original Psycho Gundam, you can see the Psycho Gundam Mark II is a little bit taller. It's not that much bigger though, really, to be honest. It's pretty much uh, relatively the same size, and the Psycho Gundam uh, has a much heftier shield too as well. Whereas the Mark II's shield is uh, equally long, but it's definitely not as big and thick as that. So they actually will look really cool, I think, next to each other once it's got its wow. fucking arm. Uh, so that's really annoying. But anyway, hopefully this review has been helpful for you guys to see how this is at least kind of supposed to look uh, when it actually has both of its arms on. But I think it looks really cool, very awesome. If you guys are into Converge figures, I think you'll definitely enjoy this one. This is gonna look really good as well once it's all like uh, detailed up. Just throw in some panel lining on some of those details, paint in some of the smaller little details on there as well. Some of them that aren't already painted. It's got a lot of details already painted on there, like like little orange lining. And as I mentioned before, the gold 
some thruster belts and everything. You got bits of silver in there for some parts of the frame. Uh, so very, very nice overall. Love these. So hopefully if you guys got this already or decide to get this in the future, yours won't have the issue with the arm. I assume that's not a widespread issue, but I don't know. Let me know if it's something that any of you guys have seen or heard anything about or experienced if you bought this as well. That's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that and it's been helpful. If you were looking for some more information about this uh, and yeah, the uh, a bummer, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a great day. See you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>